In tonight's episode, I'll be handing out a W and an L, giving you my opinions on Houston and Kirk Cousins, along with all the upsets you need to look out for in week two, and how to make your fantasy team dominant, and if your favorite team will be winning this week. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in today. Uh, this is First and Vaughn. You know this show is bomb. Jacob's out here dabbing like he's Cam Newton. He's reporting on the NFL. He's the number one analyst. He's speaking facts and haters can't handle it. First of all, it's so fire that it can keep a candle it. Going up the ranks and it deserves its own channel, man. It is a classic so popular it's surpassing any and all of the greatest sports shows you could imagine. Oh, oh, this is First and Vaughn. Oh, oh, this is First and first Vaughn, you know. I am the number one NFL analyst and your host, editor and producer, Jacob Vaughn. The W and the L of the week. The W goes to the Jaguars rookie running back Leonard Fournette for having an impressive debut, making history, rushing for over 100 yards and a touchdown after calling the NFL easy in the preseason. Taking the L of the week is Bengals quarterback Andy Dalton. Football is family, so let's get going and kick off season two with our first segment, Jacob's Hot Takes. This segment will contain my player of the week and my player on the rise and my hot takes based off stories I'm hot about. Now my player of the week goes to the player that I told you all on social media back in August to draft in your fantasy leagues, the Chiefs rookie running back Kareem Hunt. Jacob, you started him, didn't you? Sadly, no, I didn't. I left him on my bench. My player on the rise is my quarterback, Carson Wentz. The Eagles should now know 100% that he is the quarterback of the future. He is going to improve in his second year and lead the Eagles. Hot takes. After the Giants were exposed on Sunday Night Football, how can you not make OBJ the highest paid player in the NFL? He proved how much he means to the Giants. New York, pay the man. Quarterbacks Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston will both take their teams to a whole new level this year. I expect both teams to make the playoffs and I have the Titans winning their division. Kurt, you will be a free agent after this season. He's on a franchise tag for the second year in a row. He's going to pay $24 million fully guaranteed. And he goes out and plays the way he did this past week against the Eagles, overthrowing his wide receivers. Don't get me wrong. The last play that was ruled a fumble wasn't. But the way he operated the offense just showed that he does not want to be part of the dysfunctional Redskins organization. Kirk has lost weapons, but I think the Redskins will enter the 2018 NFL Draft searching for a quarterback among the names of Josh Allen, Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, and maybe Lamar Jackson. The short era of Kirk Cousins is over. Bill O'Brien, what are you doing? You named Tom Savage your starting quarterback after a subpar preseason, and then when it comes to week one and you're being blown out at home, you finally bench Tom Savage and start who you should have started and rookie quarterback Deshaun Watson. Deshaun drove down the field and scored a touchdown on his first drive of the game and his first of his career. You know who has yet to throw an NFL touchdown? Tom Savage. Start Watson. Case closed. Moving on. Next segment. Upset alert this season will be a list of my top five teams to look out for going into this upcoming week. At number five is the Los Angeles Rams against the Washington Redskins. Number four will be the Denver Broncos versus the Dallas Cowboys. Coming in at number three is the Detroit Lions with the highest paid player in NFL history going up against the New York Giants on Monday Night Football. Number two is the Buffalo Bills going on the road to face the Carolina Panthers. And the number one team to watch out for this week is the Jacksonville Jaguars. They have a winning record for the first time since week one of 2011 and they face the Titans and have a chance to start 2-0. So watch out for the Rams, Broncos, Lions, Bills, and the Jaguars. This segment 99.9% .9 of you all have been waiting for. In season two, I'm going to give you my two starts and my two sits of the week, along with my three ads and three drops you need to make to better your fancy football team. Here are my top two players to start this week. Start Redskins wide receiver Terrell Pryor. I love this man's in his matchup against the Rams this week. He may have dropped one touchdown pass this past week that would have boosted his week one fantasy points. Start Ravens running back Terrence West as they play the Browns. My two players that need to ride the bench this week, Bengals rookie running back Joe Mixon. I don't know why everybody thinks he packs a punch and has been so highly on him. He needs to prove himself first. Bench Eagles tight end Zach Ertz. After having an amazing week against the Redskins, the Eagles play the Chiefs and the Chiefs shut down Gronk in week one. 
my favorite part the three ads and three drops going into week two add another player i told you all to draft back in august on twitter is rams rookie wide receiver cooper cup he scored 13.60 points in fantasy now add patriots wide receiver dammy anandola danny scored 10 points in fantasy your third ad needs to be falcons tight end austin cooper who scored 18.80 points in fantasy this week a notable watch out for you in the deep leagues bears rookie running back tariq cohen now my drops drop colts quarterback andrew luck who is now being ruled out until week five and maybe mid-season drop seahawks running back cj procise who didn't get as many touches as you would expect but the seahawks seem to favor rookie running back chris carson my third drop is the Browns starting wide receiver Kenny Britt, who had a disappointing season debut with only one catch. Use hashtag first and Vaughn with any questions you have about your starting lineup. Have you been waiting all week to know if your team will win or lose? I'll tell you. Who's winning? My predictions on every game of the week. All of these teams listed will be winning. On Thursday Night Football, the Texans. And Sunday, Patriots, Buccaneers, Chiefs, Steelers, Ravens, Panthers, Cardinals, Titans, Raiders, Dolphins, Seahawks, Redskins, and the Cowboys. And in prime time on Sunday Night Football, the Green Bay Packers. And on Monday night, the Lions. Time to close out the first episode of Season 2. Remember to buy a First and Vaughn t-shirt and a sticker. Use hashtag First and Vaughn and follow us on all of our social media outlets for behind the scenes and all the NFL news. My pick for tonight will be the Houston Texans beating the Cincinnati Bengals. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Houston dealing with Hurricane Harvey. Houston strong. I'll see you all next Thursday. Have a great week in the NFL. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in today. Uh, this is First and Vaughn. You know this show is bomb. Jacob's out here dabbing like he's Cam Newton. He's reporting on the 